Hey, thanks for stopping by. Hope everyone watching is having a great day ahead of the new Dying to Know episode tomorrow. So of course I'm going to be here with a new double upload for today. The article we're taking a look at comes from an interview with Play Magazine where the lead game designer of Dying Light 2, Tamon Smagtel, answers the questions for us this time around. So let's dive in to start off with the game's crafting system. Dying Light 2 Stay Human will offer the same number of craft items as in the first game. The difference is the craft system itself, which has been improved and redesigned to some extent. Tamon goes on to reveal the existence of a new character called the Craft Master who can improve most of the blue tier items in total 9 times. These can relate to both tools and weapons with the levels of improvement depending on a case by case basis. Tamon states during the interview that the new Craft Master is an I quote, an intelligent character in our world who helps develop plans to improve them and goes on to say, Some of these improvements significantly change the effect of using these objects. This new Quartermaster style character looks to be someone we'll be returning to quite often to enhance our weapons and tools. The significant changes talked about could be anything from a damage and durability boost to changing the weapon into a different variant itself like example fire or ice. The tools he could be talking about could be something like the grappling hook where there's multiple uses. We may be able to change the color and the distance it can extend to, and there's many possibilities. Smackdown confirmed that the axes, machetes, hammers, basically any melee weapons with a futuristic medieval aesthetic will be in the future. Of course there will be explosives and at least one makeshift rifle that we've seen before as well as the one-handed shotgun that players can deploy in tandem with melee weapons to create devastating attack combinations. Thanks to the new craft master, the developer believes that players will have a better combat experience than Dying Light 2 as they continue to to improve their favorite melee blues, thus forging new modern weaponry. A lot of the game is going to evolve as we progress. The infected will become more mutated, the city will corrupt however we please, and the weapons will reportedly change throughout as well. By the way, about Tamon, the man has been shining in the AMA videos, but has yet to make an appearance in Dying to Know, so come on Tech Land, let the lean game designer into the big leagues. But anyways, that's gonna be all for today. Tomorrow and the weeks ahead, I'm sure we'll have lots to talk about, so if you want, feel free to like the video and subscribe, and comment below your thoughts if you have any. So as always, thanks for watching. I don't want to spoil too much because we are preparing a huge drop of information about our infected that's coming.